Uh oh, did the batteries die? Oh, okay, good. Phew! The batteries aren't dead just yet. I thought they may have gone out. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a good day today. Yeah, I, I have been putting off finishing this game for way too long. Hi, Happy Bees. Vinny. Uh, who else? Trash Guy, Bob, Goatman, the guy there's Fennec, so many people are here. <laughs> uh, Magkek. Yeah, I, I've been putting off finishing Truth or Square just way too long. Because typically what's been happening is, like, I want to play something after Skylanders, but I forget every time that Skylanders is, like, a five-hour session. And so I'm worn out by the time it's over. Did I play Battle for Bikini Bottom? Yeah, not on stream, but I have played it. Maybe I'll do Rehydrated one day. Although, I, if I do Rehydrated... Also, I gotta turn the game up. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like a casual speed run of it, like try to do everything in one Ladies session. Start your engine. All right, y'all are gonna have to let me know how the audio is. Oh, oh, they did die. The batteries did die. Oh man, it'd be a shame if I didn't. Hold on, if I can get them out. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, be a shame if it wasn't for the fact that I got batteries yesterday in preparation for this. There we go. I was wondering why the controller kept flickering earlier. I already got new batteries. I got them yesterday. <laughs> there we go. Think. Yeah, I think this is the one we were playing on last time. I don't know how long we're going to go for. Because I know there's not much game left. I know for a fact we're going to beat the game. but And we might do some post-game stuff. We'll see. But yeah, originally we started playing this because I am so excited for Cosmic Shake. And I really hope it comes out this year. I can't believe I smashed the whole thing. Oh, it looks like we have multiple options on what we could do next. Oh no, okay, it's just Squidward next. Hooray! I'm so happy I could hug a jellyfish hive. Man, how are y'all? How are y'all doing today? Remembering memories in flashback form is so much fun. Nothing makes me happier than this time that I get to spend with all of you, my friends. <laughs> Isn't this great, Squidward? Oh, sure. There's nothing like a trip down memory lame. Oh, my God, Squidward, I feel a memory forming, and you're in it. Remember when you had your first Krabby Patty? Remember that new Patty smell? The taste? <laughs> ah! I'm gonna be honest, that the way that cutscene started sounded like a family guy gag. <laughs> How long is it before someone finds frozen squid? We're 2,000 years. SpongeBob lore expert still up to date. I'm good, Fennec. Thank you for asking. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't Fennec. Whoops. I'm good, Mad Keg. Thank you for asking. Fennec never asked me how I'm doing. Come on, step up your game. <laughs> Hey, I'm doing great. I had such a nice night last night. We went out to eat for the first time in ages, and I got some shrimp fettuccine. It was great. You don't care about my feelings. You just care about seeing if I'm going to give up on doing every heroic challenge. Oh my god, the music is so much louder than that. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think I remember where I put the secret formula. Oh, hey, it's the Squidward boss we should have gotten in Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. Dude, it's gonna happen during Giants. I'm just gonna lose my mind. 
All right, I'm gonna hope I can remember the controls because due to the controller I have, yeah, they're like really weird. I actually didn't think we'd be starting with just a boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. Especially such a noisy one. I can remember how, what we're all... I'm sorry if it takes me a bit <laughs> to remember what we're doing. I, I should have been playing games between Skylanders. Oh god, that's not the right button. Here we go. But yeah, I'm having I'm having a good day. Thank you for asking. After I made you ask me. <laughs> And then, once we're done with Truth of Square, I'm gonna have y'all pick the game today. Cause I, I tried to pick one, and I just could not for the life of me. Oh, that's not the right button. There we go. Got him. Oh, what you got for me here, Fennec? Oh wow, that's an MP4. Well, now I'm curious. You know, Fennec, if you want to, you could just add me on Discord and send these to me. <laughs> My Discord is public. I'll have to check it later. Ah, oh, that's not the right button. I do hope the audio is okay, because it's looking on the volume mixer like it might be a little loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Oh, no. oh please don't tell me that restarts the boss. Okay, good. Good. They need to be public to the war. Fair enough. For videos, though, oh, dang it. For videos, though, it's a lot harder for me to play them on stream. Because when I'm using my capture card, I don't have access to my other monitor. So if it opens up in File Explorer on the other monitor, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Focusing wasn't enough. Really? The game crashed just because I died? Oh my god. How many crashes is that now? I feel like we've... We're, we're around like six or seven at this point across everything we've played. Forty-seven. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta do the whole boss all over again. Ah, It's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Who cares? I thought the boss was very entertaining. Why do you think I kept doing it over and over again? <laughs> no, no, it's not that bad. It's just funny. Ugh. Guys, sorry if I'm a bit not really talkative, but like, I'm a little stuttery today. I gotta start streaming earlier in the day, honestly. I think it'd be a lot better if I started streaming consistently around 1 o'clock rather than 3 o'clock. Although technically now it's 4. Come on. <laughs> Will you explode in our in Squidward's thighs? Uh Dude, the Wii crashing sound cracks me up every single time. No matter what. It f it fucking kills me.
You know what sucks? I'm gonna get through the boss fight and then the internet's gonna crash. <laughs> I wonder if there's a button for finishing your homework. What'd she just say about me finishing my homework? I don't have homework, Sandy. Why don't you mind your own business? All right, you know what? Something we're gonna do before we do the boss fight. There we go. Remembering memory. Oh, can I not skip this one? Oh no, I can. Okay, okay. What was the name of SpongeBob's pet seahorse? Mystery. Bro, they're too easy with these. I'm waiting for one that's just gonna be absurdly obscure and difficult, and I'm not gonna know how to answer it. <laughs> We're getting into contact with aliens, we send them the Wii crashing sound. Bro, I imagine aliens sound like the Wii crashing sound, wouldn't they? Alright. Round two. Any second now. Punch by the... Yeah, so the you don't remember the mystery episode? Oh, it's a good one. I love the mystery episode. Yeah, it's like he he gets a pet seahorse and it starts causing all sorts of trouble because he just can't keep one, and he tries to take it to work and oh. Chaos ensues. That's a nice one, though. That's that's a really old one, though. Yeah, it ate his little his little flower garden. Come here, buddy, buddy boy. I actually just remember that episode genuinely has one of my favorite gags in the whole show. <laughs> where it's like Squidward's asking where the Krabby Patties are and SpongeBob says, Oh, did you look under the tray? And he just, he fully believes him. Full confidence. Checks under the tray. I love that bit so much. that they're able to get every voice actor except Mr. Krabs for these games. Oh god. Okay, that's fine. Does not sound like boss music. <laughs> well, this music is from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like the one that's playing now. This is the final boss music from Battle for Bikini Bottom. If you can hear it over all the sound effects. The older the SpongeBob is, the more likely I remember it. Yeah. I mean, those first three seasons, they're they're golden, man. I want to rewatch them so badly, but I don't have Paramount Plus. I thought the game crashed again. <laughs> For a split second there. Uh. Give me another one of those power-ups. Oh, wait, I didn't hit him enough. Duh. Bonk. Fist bump today. Nice. Also, hi, Siggy. Hope you're having a good day today. Ooh! Rude! Oh my god, I read chat and I looked away! Yeah, I could use a kiss cartoon, I suppose. I don't know, I'm... I'm getting a little tired of pirating content. 
And I'm, I'm not that I would do it, of course. I've just witnessed it, of course. Don't, don't be ridiculous. But, uh, I don't know. The ads, the stuttering, the constant pop-ups, they get old, you know? Oh my god, why am I so bad? And Marcel for some traps and cores. Best of luck to you if you do. Swap Force isn't too bad, but Trap Team Cores can be a little iffy. Okay, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Yeah. I, I get that. Oh my god, I thought I could make it in time. <laughs> Found a dark trap on Facebook. Ooh! Bro, if I used Facebook, I'd jump on that. Wait for the steam, wait for the steam. I am under it, game. Yeah, I can see why this took uh, Goatman forever. This is obnoxious. There we go. Get them, boys. There we go. <laughs> what? What was that? I have no patience, Squidward. Don't. I will hit this as many times as I feel like it. Got him. I think. Uh. Volcanic vault's gone down to fifty. Ooh. Oh my God! Give me all that. What were they called? Happiness nuggets. Give them all to me. Create a Facebook account just for Skylanders and Wii games. I mean, it's tempting. It is indeed tempting. Mm, Sprouter, too bad you can't remember where you put the formula. Pretty soon you'll probably forget how to even make a Krabby Patty. Don't say it! <laughs> but SpongeBob already doesn't remember how to make a Krabby Patty. It's against the Krusty Krab Terms of Service. A patty, not the formula for the patty, which was written on a piece of paper that I'm sure doesn't taste too great. But, well, I'm remembering again, but I'm still not happy enough. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob, crying isn't gonna bring your beloved secret formula back to you. If I keep going, sooner or later I'm bound to remember. I hope. Sorry, I'm just dying over on the side. I I have a starburst right here, and one of them just got stuck in my throat. Woo! <laughs> oh my god! I'm fine. I do sincerely apologize, though. That is, yeah, no more, no more starburst, no more starburst. What was Wormy Sandy's pet? Oh, that's a tough one. You're doing good? That's good, Siggy. Uh, for me, I am choking. I- I was actually struggling to breathe. That was scary. Oh my god. Alright. Can I get in here yet? No, I need more objects. May as well get a move There's nothing for you here. Uh, no, I can't say I have any. I can't say I have. Nice try, though. <laughs> Choked on water before. No, no, it happens. It happens. What is going on here? Huh. Interesting self-portrait. Yeah, no. I, <clears throat> I need a few moments. That was a little scary. I actually haven't, like, genuinely choked in a really, really long time. 
There's a chest somewhere in my house where I could find more lives. Where did I put that chest? Who knows? Please hold it, Plankton. Please. Who is this joker? Found it. Too good. Found it again. Any cookies, girl. Now shove off. Never seen this game? What console is it on? Uh, I think it's on quite a few, but this is the Wii version. Just because that's the easiest for me to stream. Happy happens. Hooray! Oh, that's a nice picture. Who is this joker? I can't see too good. We don't need any cookies, little girl. Now... All right. Out of curiosity, do y'all think? Also, for some reason, subtitles got turned back off. Do y'all think Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are gonna be in the new SpongeBob game? I, I, I know what happened with their voice actors, but I wonder if they'll still try to bring them back. Because I know they still show up in episodes nowadays. Play the remaster of Bikini Mas ah, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, it's good. Once shot a bottle cap in your throat. Oh my god, that sounds miserable. I almost remember where I put the formula. <sighs> almost. <laughs> that was not a sigh. I worked a 24-hour shift and had to take out the trash. The hash slinging slasher. Hash slinging slasher. Oh, the hash slinging slasher. The, the trash singing. The, the, the flash singing. The Snash Slinging, Bringing, Nash Ginging. <laughs> what does SpongeBob think is an alien embryo? Oh, God. Oh, no, the hot water bottle. Yeah! I re okay, that took me a bit. That's from Sandy's Rocket. That one took me a I, I was very close to missing that one. I just cough it up because no one was home. Oh, thank God. Saw me playing Paladins. Like, yeah. uh, I was just doing bot games yesterday to try and pass the time. Wait, are we going to rock bottom? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I was just doing some bot games to try and uh, pass the time with a friend. Because a friend was... They work remotely from home. And so they can't do much that takes focus. But typically Paladins goes alright. Oh my god. <laughs> You're five, you inhaled too hard and a pen cap went down your throat. Dude, I mean, I've... You know what one of my biggest fears is, like, genuinely? Swallowing a battery. Because for some ungodly reason, I love sucking on batteries as a kid. Oh god, we're timed, we're timed! Oh, I didn't realize... Please. What? There we go. Did I ever swallow a Hanfula? I have not. I don't know what that is. Yeah, dude, I I oh batteries. So tasty. That little that, that, that just like a hint of acid, whatever they're right on the tip of your tongue, just mm. love it. Where am I going, by the way? Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Han... Han... Oh, is it supposed to be, like, handful of... Oh, come on. I... You can't do it when I pronounce it wrong, Vinny. I should have... I should have suspected better. And there will be nobody there! <laughs> Dude, I love the hash slinging slasher episode. It's so interesting to me that this is primarily old episodes. Okay, we're playing Skylanders Mega Blocks. You want to remove Chaos's hand, but it was stuck, so you removed it with your teeth, but it went down your throat. That happened to me with some Legos. Dude, they're so hard to take apart. <laughs> <It's the part. laughs> Oh, that's funny. 
I think the game came out in 2007. I think it was... It's weird, because... What does it say on the case? Oh, no, it was 2007. Okay. Yeah, because this was a Wii launch title. But for some reason, I thought it said, like, 2011 or 2012 on the title screen. Excuse me, but you seem to be in my hammer's way. Ah, dang it. Oh, I gotta remember. We can actually, like, fire off projectiles. I remember that we have the little cannon upgrade now. Rude! Never got the Mega Block sets. Uh, I think... It was weird. I, I liked the Skylanders figures, but I didn't really like the stuff outside of the figures. That being said, I did used to have a Skylanders pillow. That was a nice pillow. I miss it. All right, what was the shooty shoot button? There we go. Bang! They reflected it back. Of course they did. <laughs> Maybe one day. Well, wait, hold on. A normal pillow or a body pillow? Because I don't do body pillows. Not yet, at least. Bonk. I think the ever Skylander. Wait, the UK never got Skylander gummies? Huh. Whoa, my god. There we go. What is going on with like this little bomb here? People say you shouldn't dilly dally, but I kinda like it. Do I have to get him to shoot this? Hmm. Oh wait, are these the enemies that I have to like roll on? Oh, okay. Find out for having Skylander's backpack. Oh, dude, that sucks. I fortunately never had to deal with bullying. It never happened in my schools. Like, people never made fun of me. I did see it happen to other people, though. And it, it always sucks. You should never be ashamed of the things you enjoy. Oh, my God. Please don't make me do it again. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that was a different person. Everyone worshipped you for having a Skylanders bag. I, I had a carrying case, but I didn't have a bag. But I did have, like, a carrying case that could... <laughs> it could unfold into a display case. No, I think by the time I was into Skylanders, I wasn't in public school, so I never got to see what that was. Ooh, fully like. All the people I interacted with were, like, activity groups. But yeah, no, I mean, I, I think I may have talked about it in the past, but I... I I had a friend who just let the people in public school completely dictate his interests. And I, I stopped being friends with him because of it, because he... Here's the thing. He wasn't... I, I shouldn't say that. It's not because he changed, but it's because he changed and he was extremely rude about it. Because it clearly wasn't... Like, he threw out, like, thousands of Pokemon cards because, oh, the kids at school say... Kids at school say Pokemon's not cool anymore. Gotta get rid of all my cards. It's just, it's too much. And then he started insulting me and like, no, nah, we're too old for this. I just, I can't. I, I can't. It sucks. It sucks what it really does to people because a lot of people take it so wholeheartedly or whole, so sincerely. Man, I really am stumbling over my words today. Maybe a drink will help. There we go. I'm gonna spin you a new outcome. That's me to say you're a nerd, but a nice one. And there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Oh, I was just supposed to jump across the entire time. I'm a goof. Who is next? Oh, 
Ooh, is this normal ground? Okay. I have to you now. What, what is that? that? That was moving. Oh, it's just a physics object, that's why. All right, what do we got going on here? I am SpongeBob, robot reductionist. So this almost seems to be based on that one level from the SpongeBob movie game, oddly enough. I don't remember, the trenches or whatever it was called. But I played through Boating Bash. Bro, I loved Boating Bash as a kid. Oh God, that is freaky. Boating Bash is one of those games that my brother was always down to play. Did I just cheese this platforming section? No. I thought I did. Thanks for this kid for almost your entire elementary s in elementary years. Every day there's a 50-50 chance whether he's your best friend or absolutely hate you. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. What's Boating Bash? Boating Bash was essentially, it wasn't a kart racer, but it was a SpongeBob racing game, but rather than racing, it's a demolition derby game. Like there is racing in it, but demolition derby and destroying other people is the main focus. And it's fun. It was a lot of fun. Where'd he go? Gotcha. Gotcha. There we go. Body bash superchargers. Oh, that's mean. Probably true though. Dude, lately I've really been wanting to play a kart racer. I've mentioned it a couple times, but I really hope Disney Speedstorm is good. And I really hope I get into the playtest for it. Oh my god, that's brutal. Wait, so what was the point of the button all the way up here? Now I can hit it. Does this destroy the other teeth? Oh. Oh, okay. That's a little strange, but it makes sense. The game mode was demolition. Yeah. Dude, the demolition was great. And if I remember, I had like a fully written story mode. SpongeBob games are great. They're just, most of them are pretty fun. Although I do have a one that's considered bad. I bought it recently. Plankton's Robotic Revenge. I think that could just be fun to do one day. Not anytime soon though, just one day. Dude, I never get tired of listening to this music. I'll be real with you. Ooh. Oh, come on. I can do this in my sleep. Oh my god, some of these enemies are a bit much for me. Gotcha! Gotcha! Teacher's name was Shark Fin. Yeah, he was some kind of shark. Is there a Sandy around here to get rid of these flowers? Or are they just a hazard? Probably just a hazard. Terrifying. <laughs> Look at his face in the top left. Nah, oh, I think he... Uh, okay, I think it was because I was almost dead. Oh, did I miss? Hmm. Let me try that again. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, his name was Seymour Scales. Jeez, SpongeBob, could you stop talking for like five seconds? I am the sponge. Ah! <laughs> what do you got for me? The reused music is still really weird to me. Whoop! I don't entirely mind it, it's just a little odd is all. But it's not like game changing for me. Cause it's all nice music. The Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie game were great soundtracks. Very cool game you used to play on the Wii with Spo- Bro! I, I'm i not even kidding. Literally all morning today, I was listening to Spore music. I was just spacing out and listening to Spore ambiance music. And I, lo I love Spore Hero as well. Spore is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm not even joking. Ah, I wasn't ready for that. Ooh. Yeah, when I was younger, so here's the thing, as I said before, I am homeschooled. And so, I'm gonna let the timer go up, by the way. I, here's the thing, I didn't have necessarily like a strict due date when it came to homework. As long as it was done by a certain time, it didn't matter. Like, if I learned a math lesson that day, I didn't have to finish the math lesson that day. And so... But there was a bit of a caveat to it all. Like, because I was allowed to, you know, spend my free time how I wanted, but when it came to video games, my mom only let me play educational games if I still had homework left to do. And her definition of educational was a, it was a little lenient. And so, I was allowed to play things like Scribblenauts, for example. You know, because it teaches you about adjectives and, you know, spelling and grammar and whatnot. And then, I also played, like, this weird, like, wolf browser game. I don't even remember the name of it. But easily the thing I played the most was Spore. Like, Spore teaches you about, you know, evolution. And it also, uh, you know, it had a bunch of, like... RTS segments as well that taught you about resource management. And so yeah, I just, I played it a lot as a kid. So, so much. So I absolutely can't wait to play it on stream one day. But when we do play it on stream, I want viewers to make creatures for my world. And for those of you who, who don't know, it's very easy to make a creature in Spore and then add it to someone else's game. Y'all would just have to submit them to me. Anyone heard of Spectrobes? So I tried playing Spectrobes last year with a friend, but we didn't make it very far. But I can probably play that on stream someday. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Get yeah, Scribble Knots last year, nice. They're all pretty good. I think the one I had when I was younger was Super Scribble Knots. But uh, Unlimited could be a fun stream as well. I like that whenever a character in Skylanders is brought up for, like, PvP. And we're all like, oh, this character was so good in PvP. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, trash guy just comes in and he just talks about how horrible the character is. <laughs> Every time it kills me. Ooh. What platform am I on with Spore? Uh, so here's the thing, Spore is different on cons- like, the Spore Hero and Spore are not the same game at all. Spore Hero was more of like a single player, like, platformer adventure game. Whereas the actual Spore is like this genre-changing, evolution-based game. So I, I- I have both. And so, uh, if people wanna submit Spore creatures, 
you just like send a PNG to me and I drag it into a file and it puts it in the game. I don't know how that works. I don't know why it works, but that's just how you do it. That's how you add creatures. And it's a lot easier than doing like a Maxis account. Which Spectrobes? I think just the very first one on the DS. But we didn't make it very far. We really didn't make it very far at all, so I don't really have an opinion of it. What's a PNG? An image. A, a type of image. You know, PNG, JPEG. All oh, right, if they're spinning, you can't shoot them. I'm a little scared to get next to that big guy, though. Normally, they give you a power-up for these segments. That's not a very cool, SpongeBob. It's, in fact, very disgusting. Yeah, so basically... All your spore creatures are saved as PNGs on your computer when you make them. And so you just drag them. Like, you, you would send it to me and I drag it into a folder and it's just in my world now. And so I figured one day when we're bigger, I could just have, like, you know, the day I have a Discord channel, I could just make a spore one. Like a spore channel in the server and everyone could just submit what they wanted. Yeah, it's Spectro's Origins. Uh, someone who comes into the chat, Clockwork Magatsu, she knows a lot more about Spectro's than I do. I can tell you that. Because <laughs> she was the one that, uh, we tried to play it last year, but due to a lot of internet issues, we just didn't really make it that far. Because she, uh, she would screen share the game to me and I would watch. But I, I unfortunately just couldn't pick up a lot on what was actually happening in the game. Careful. Tales of Arise? I've never played a Tales game, unfortunately. Although, I think I got a Tales game. No, actually, no. Never mind. I, for some reason, I'm like, oh yeah, this has, this has like, anime. And it has a sword on the guy. It's a Tales game, but no, that's not what it was called. What was it called? It was called like... Oh, what was it called? I know it had a V in it somewhere. Spectrum's made by Disney. It is. Uh, oh, what was it? Valkyria Chronicles. That's what it was called. I know that has nothing to do with Tales of, but for some reason my brain thought that's what it was. But yeah, I've always been curious of the Tales series, especially with how much people seem to love Lloyd Irving. Maybe one day. What's the point of these things being here? I can just... Oh! Well, so much for going around. <laughs> oh, one second. Of course. Well, I uh, I guess I, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. So it is raining today. It's a little stormy. Uh, hoping it's not going to affect the stream too much, but considering that we've almost gone for an hour and it hasn't, I don't think it's going to be a problem. However, I just got a text that... Uh, tornado warning. So let's hope nothing bad goes wrong. Don't panic if the stream crashes. That's just my internet, I promise. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, my. I gotta quit looking at you. Okay, I gotta focus on the game and stop looking at chat for a bit. Full focus. Oh, 
Yeah, if the stream crashes and I come back, uh, I'm in the eye of the storm. So don't get your hopes up. It's gonna turn back off like for a short moment. <laughs> Go. Is Grill X a different robot or do you switch to drilling? Um, so it's the same brain in a new robot. And he, every night he has an existential crisis on whether or not he's the same robot or a new robot. I come over to the UK. I've heard it rains a lot in the UK. I've heard that it rains so much over there that when it snows, the snow is ugly. Like it's like sludgy gray. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Oh shit, bath time. Oh, that's the wrong button. Four. No, no. <laughs> it's just water. The sucked ability was so awkward. A little. What happened to SpongeBob? What do you mean? With every drop of rain, a platform grows. Ooh, concept art. Yum yum. God, I'm kind of glad that when you ring out, he doesn't actually use the ringer. That episode scared me as a kid. Cause like, it's, it's weird. I don't mind small spaces, like I'm not claustrophobic, but something about getting my arms stuck to where I can't use them, that is terrifying to me. I hated that episode. <laughs> what kind of question is that, trash guy? You don't just ask someone that, they know what it is by the way, don't let them fool you. You can't just ask someone that. <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? That was so scary. There he went. <laughs> Wait. So on Squidward's side, it's a thousand. But on my side, it's only one. Hmm. On the cash register. <laughs> That's a little bit of an oversight. Music is so good. I think it's the rock bottom music from Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's what it sounds like. Alright, I gotta be real with y'all. I don't remember any of this happening in the Hash Slinging Slasher episode. I don't remember the eel from the Spongebob movie that ate their car showing up in the hash slinging slasher episode. Interesting camera angle change? Oh, dear. That lava is flowing so fast. Oh, my God. I've got you in my I think I gotta break this. To be I love it when a plan comes together. 
<laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll pay more attention next time I watch that episode. Ow, you bastard. I love the animation when he's doing this with his legs. Really hope they remake this game. Ah! I, I don't know if I'd want this exact game remade, but I'd love it if the concept was brought back. Just like revisiting old Spongebob episodes. Maybe if I stand here long enough, the formula will find me. He's the craze of Spongebob as a kid. Can't remember anything other than the... The villain with a blue mask. Man Ray! Rubber Glover. <laughs> Oh my god, that reminds me. Are y'all excited for Glover coming out next month? Because we're streaming it when it, like, day one. I fucking love Glover. What is that? Glover is an old, like, N64 game. And for, for no reason, just randomly, it's getting a Steam port next month? Out of nowhere? Basically, you play as a glove that, like, carries around a ball, and you could change the ball into, like, a baseball, a glass ball, a bowling ball, and you just, it's a 3D platformer, and you solve puzzles. It's neat. I never beat it as a kid, though. It was too complicated for my measly child brain. Harder than Magma's heroic challenges. I need a short break from heroic challenges. Not like a major break, like a couple weeks, just like a few days. I'm not tired of them, it's just that I want to stream other things right now. Did he just say squid lore? That's what I call squid lore. Squid Gore. <laughs> You'll be able to watch that, maybe. Yeah. I, I think Glover will be fun. I'm hoping it runs well. I, like, if it's secretly a remaster and just not a port, that'd be awesome. That is true. I... So with the Discord server, I'll probably do one... If I can start hitting like 25 to 30 viewers a stream, I think by that point, yeah. Oh, we're done. <laughs> okay. They did have a proper ending for this level. Something tells me this wasn't meant to be the hash slinging slasher episode, considering we went to rock bottom and then the abyss from the movie. What even is that? Open 24 hours. You hope I'm tired of them. Uh, I mean, am I tired of them in the sense that, like, I never want to do them? No. Am I tired of them in the sense that I want to play other things? Yeah. Oh, that's... You're not wearing pants, Squidward. Ain't his pants. Yeah, right. You had a dream tape where you owned a Fox factory. Is it, was it like an actual factory? Like machinery makes the foxes? Or was it like a fox breeding plant? Because that either way, I'm concerned. <laughs> what does Mr. Krabs get from the Flying Dutchman? A plastic treasure chest. After playing the game, am I going to do the Tiki challenges? I don't know yet. I guess it depends on how long it would take. Do you ever feel like your life is just one big game? Run and settle, Formula. Don't make me come looking for you. All right, we got max health upgrades at least. I guess I just start buying these other costumes for the other characters. 
Oh, maybe y'all can help me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does anybody know what episode this burglar outfit is from? I can't remember for the life of me. Episode 52. I th That is oddly specific. The maniac one. No, because with the boat driver, or the boat jack maniac, whatever the name was, that was Mrs. Puff wearing it. And then when he tries to rob the bank, that's a sock over his head. And when he tries to steal the Christmas box from Patrick, that's like pantyhose. I genuinely have no idea what he's wearing. Like, well, he wore it too? Did he? Hold on. No free rides. No, no, he didn't. Oh, it was only Mrs. Puff. Yeah, I just, I can't figure it out. I can't figure out what episode it's from. I'm a fake fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can remember every instance of him robbing something, except for this one. Oh, that's a good one. Do they actually wear it, like, in the hub world? What's the point, then? Oh, no, I just didn't equip Patrick's. Ah. Oh. What episode is this? Okay, so Vinny found it, but I don't know what episode this is. We're never gonna find that formula just standing around. Maybe if I stand here long enough, the formula will find me. So tree. Season 9, episode 186. That doesn't help me. Do you have a name? <laughs> Not to be rude. I don't know them by number. Name is Sandy's workout device. The Arm Cruncher. Safe deposit cr Oh! What an odd episode to pull it from, especially since everything's from, like, the first three seasons. SpongeBob is my name, oh! Karate is my name! Oh, oh my god! Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes- okay, yeah. If it's the the panty raid episode, that makes a lot more sense. One of the things where you put a penny in a yeah yeah, turns into a cool coin. You put a dog and a cat into it, it makes a fox. That sounds painful. Also, why a cat? Aren't foxes like mostly canine? Oh my god, is this the Karate Island episode? I didn't even realize. I get my damn cannonball reflected back to me one more time. I'm gonna lose it. Can I try setting it to Wumbo? Bro, I've set a lot of things in my life to Wumbo and it hasn't worked out so far. I gotta be real with you. I'm starting to think maybe that's not the best advice. One of my friends has texted me on the side about my microphone, but <laughs> so if you ever see me pausing, I'm I'm just getting I'm getting roasted by someone that's going into sound design as their career about how my mic is peaking. <laughs> oh, oh, that's quicksand. Oh, that's quicksand. Bang, bang, bang. I've wumboed Lenny hard. Y'all just don't. Y'all rely too much on wumboing. 
Try to do something without wumbling for once in your lives. Woo. I gotta get rid of these guys before I can do this. Man, these big enemies are such a pain. Let him wear out. I think I just got three more messages from- Jules, I am trying to entertain other people. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's her again. Oh, whoa, I just got slingshotted. No, I actually am going to talk with her, though, because I would love to get my microphone fixed up. Because whenever I, I get loud, it, just, it cuts me out. Now, granted, it's very entertaining when I get angry and I just get sent into the abyss because my microphone doesn't pick it up. But I would like to stop peeking just a little bit. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, there, really? This was here? Don't I feel like a goof now? A goofy goober, if you will. Also, why- this music, this is like the movie game music, but sped up for some reason. There's a blue ski mask when he becomes the open- oh, the open window maniac. Oh, what episode was that? I can't recall. Happy yeah, because doesn't he just like go into someone's house and just freak out on their dinner table? What episode was that? <laughs> oh, give me Squidward. The hall monitor. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, bro, I would have rather had the hall monitor outfit than ski mask. You haven't watched as much SpongeBob as you should, dude. I have seen those first three seasons so many times, except for the hall monitor episode, apparently. <laughs> Whoop! That was close. Is there a point to me getting the nuggets now at this point? I don't think there is. Oh, that's a sneaky one. Nice try. Okay, yeah, we are on Karate Island. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. Sorry about what I said about seven minutes ago. Oh my god. I feel really bad because of... Hey, if y'all remember, I mentioned that I, uh, I was doing the whole, like, you could subscribe to me for free in my DMs with my friends, like, the day I got affiliate, just for fun. And I accidentally did it twice to Jules, and I felt really, really bad. <laughs> but yeah, Jules is a good friend of mine. Thank you, Jules. Means a lot to me, as always. Also, I ignore the fact that I didn't choose the sound effect that you told me to choose. Because when I asked you, I already set it up, but I didn't feel like changing it. <laughs> oh, what? What an odd game for everyone to come out and watch. Ooh, careful, careful! No, careful! I wasn't careful. Because Bunch Bob. True! Everyone loves Bunch Bob. Oh, careful! And then we hop off, and then we spin, and then we hop back on. 
far the game took you out. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I must have beaten the game as a kid because I had a save file that was at the final boss. Also, I hope y'all really love this song. I like listening to the same five seconds over and over again. This is gonna go off. Actually, I should have this over here. I <laughs> should have known better. I did it though. Today it take you till the very next morning. Yeah, I, that looks like something that I would have hated as a kid. I probably blocked it out of my memory. Oh my god, SpongeBob's face! Oh my god! Oh, that is terrifying. Why does he look like that? What is that like hole in his face? And no, I don't mean his pores. Don't get don't get smarmy with me. Nice and easy. That's his mouth. Above the mouth! I asked, I, I specifically requested not to get smarmy. I had one request. <laughs> no, like y'all see it though, right? Uh, you know, I hear. Uh, how do I? Okay, ignore what's about to be on screen. Actually, no, don't ignore it. I can change the size of it. Okay. Look, right above this. You see that? You see, like, that hole right there? To the left of his nose? Oops. <laughs> ignore why I have this picture. Like, right over here. Like, right here, right here. What is that? I need, like, a finger image I can drag around. Those are his nostrils? Are they? Gross. Oh, dang it. I thought they had health. The hole where his nose used to be. Oh, you know, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, I gotta do this again? Lame. Alright, speed run. It's called a mouse pointer. I don't have my. My mouse pointer doesn't work with game capture. So how do I make this detonate? That works. God, the music loop is... <laughs> he has the... I know his no he has nostrils. It's just like, I guess it's, whenever Spongebob, his nose like droops like that, it's always weird though. You know, if he has nostrils, then where are they right now? Hmm? Hmm, smarty pants? <laughs> Closed, ah, that's your, that's lucky excuse. Also, who's this fish where there's like eight statues of him? What is so special about this one fish? I keep seeing him in the background. Bonk. Can't believe I smashed the whole thing. What you got for me? Hammer time. Oh, this looks like a nightmare. Ooh, secret. That'll put a little spring in your step. How did I get everything except the multiplier? Oh my god. Oh boy. No, give it, give it. Give it, give it. 
You guys Smash? Bro, I played Smash earlier today and it barely functioned. And I felt really bad because a friend really wanted to play. But it just did not work. The only match I won today, I was Wendy Koopa. That is not a good day for Smash. <laughs> Get him! Hang! They had no idea what just hit him. Ah, uh, nice try, Vinny. Nice try. You gotta hit me with one I've never heard before. I may be gullible, but not that gullible. <laughs> That'll put a little spring in your step. Ooh. What we got down here. Yeah. I got greedy. I got greedy. There's a checkpoint. That'll put a little spring in your step. Now y'all joke, but it, you could genuinely just have me's with these names. You have a good night. You're gonna. All right, Siggy. I hope you have a good night. You take care. This mission would have been a lot funnier if I put Sandy in like the pirate outfit. Oh, yeah, these bigger enemies are so annoying. Wait, she just floated into it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Dude, she just like gently floats into it and disappears. I fucking love this game. That'll put a little spring in your staff. Why don't more people talk about this one over the other two? It's funny. Eraser? Hmm. Oh, don't be an auto scroller. Don't be a combat based auto scroller. No, please, no, I hate these. Every. I hate these so much in so many games. You're on a boat and you just have to fight everything. Oh, Creature from the Crusty Crab's another good one. Lipstick? Oh, it does look like lipstick. Can I hit it? I guess not. That or I missed. I most likely missed. Let's see if I can hit this one. What did he just say? Oh my god. Did you do Kim because the Wii crashes? Why would you wish that on me? What did I do for you? Or to you, I should say. Y'all calm down, I wanna press the button! What do I get? I didn't get anything.
You okay there, bud? You wanna come here? Oh god, he's unstuck. Okay. <laughs> I can reflect that so badly. Alright, easy enough. I mean, I guess this makes sense, because it's supposed to be, like, karate-based, but he doesn't even have his little karate chop. I also have no idea why we're in help for it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a times five up there. I gotta get that. You know, I feel like hitting these buttons isn't gonna mean anything because I was supposed to hit the one at the start. L plus ratio plus no Krabby Patties. Don't hit him. You can't hit him with that. That's just not fair. Help Force is the worst. You know what? When Rehydrated came out, I didn't hate it. The layout isn't that bad. I mean, well, you know, it's the worst level, but I don't hate it. I, I will say it is the worst level, though. That, that is true. Anything up here? Oh, ho, ho. no way. Come on. Come on. I got up here fair and square. Don't do this to me! That's not fair! I knew something was gonna be up here! Ah! I mean, game doesn't even want to give me what I deserve. Oh, and I probably could have used it to break these, and there may have been something in these. Hmm. Unfortunate. This is kind of neat. Oh, this looks fun. Great. <laughs> You know what? I'm not- run through. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Who cares about timing? I don't. I can just jump around it. It's not even that much of a challenge. <laughs> the, the getting a hit doesn't even matter. Another hammer section. Bro, they they really like using Patrick for these levels. I feel like we've barely seen the other two today. I gotta go back for those multipliers. If if the game crashed there, I was gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> Uh. Patrick is the best. Ah, uh, I don't know. I like Mr. Krabs and Plankton a lot more. Boing, boing, boing. boing. That'll put a little spring in your staff. Anything this way? Oh. All right. This looks like the end. Hey, goat man. I'd like to think so. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
out for the explosive shots. Maybe I gotta reflect them back at him. He fires off an explosive shot. Hmm. You hated this boss fight. Oh, he's about to do something. I mean, his head's a target. Oh, okay, okay, so we just dodge him. Woo! That's annoying. <laughs> Dude, this boss fight feels like it's gonna take so long. <laughs> All the boxes are already destroyed. Maybe I can hit him early. Dementio. That's his name? Dementio from Super Paper Mario? You know, actually, in a game all about memories, I think naming something Dementio is not that good of an idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep, Trash Guy Bob beat me to it. figure out like a shorter nickname for you because it feels like I call you by your full name every time. That's much like game before, but why are all the bosses evil? Uh well in Battle for Bikini Bottom they were the whole shtick of that game is that Plankton made a machine that makes robots. But then he forgot to set it to the obey setting, so the robots did whatever they wanted and they just made more robots. And so the robots ended up just making like a Patrick robot, a Sandy robot, a SpongeBob robot, a Plankton robot. I don't know, typically just because it's cool. In this game though, I think the only one that was, oh no, there was the Patrick one, wasn't there? There was the Patrick one and the Squidward one. Hi Sandy. <laughs> Is there like a camera lock button that I can use? Is there a game where Plankton makes a machine that makes boxes? Uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom has quadruped robots. They bark, but I mean, so do foxes, so. Well, I guess foxes a yip. It's a robot with a drill. <laughs> Dude, this is really boring. I'm not gonna lie. Not the whole game. Just like this one fight. It's taking so long. There's gotta be a way to hit him more. No, it says don't mess with when he's spinning. Can I mess with him now? Okay, no, it's just hit the target on his head when he's done spinning. say foxes bark I said foxes kind of bark I said they yip I said that immediately after that's a scary link Fennec that's a threatening link I'm gonna click it oh that's nice <laughs> Inside you, there are two foxes. One is gay, and the other is also gay. You are gay. There, finally. What do I even get? I assume the karate glove. Okay, yeah, the karate glove. It should have been Sandy's karate glove. Tamed a happiness object, the karate gloves. All right, so I could be wrong. 
but I think it's just the final boss now. Because I remember we were in the last page of the book. Challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens when SpongeBob signs Larry's pants? I assume he rips his own pants. That would make the most sense. Because he bends down to, to sign it. Yeah! Haven't gotten one wrong! All right, yeah, let me check the book. Yeah, there's... Yeah, so we're at the final level. Uh-oh. I didn't think we were... I mean, I mean, I knew we were going to do it today. I just didn't think it'd be that quick. Uh, you know what? Just because I like Squidward, we're going to buy all of Squidward's outfits. Give him some hair. Where is he? <laughs> oh, you can get outfits for Gary as well? Oh, and Mr. Krabs. Oh, I forgot about these. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, it is the... Okay, so the burglar outfit is from the Panty Raid episode because Mr. Krabs has one as well. Oh, that's funny. And Patrick. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense now. Make him a pirate. Well, if I make him a pirate, he's not going to have that sick hair and mustache combo. Fine, he can be a pirate. It's behind the it's not behind the grill. Which fruit do SpongeBob and Patrick not bring to Squidward? A pineapple. Cause SpongeBob they do a grape, they do a banana, and then they do a watermelon. In Squidward's Ghost, whatever the episode was. Nope. You got that wrong that one wrong, Neon. You don't know your SpongeBob lore. The Squidward have a maid costume. SpongeBob has one. Not in this game, but. In the safe. After all, Mr. Krabs told me to put it somewhere safe. Ah! Boy, I love it when things work out. <laughs> Sponge fool! Little did you realize that while desperately trying to keep me away from the formula, you've only succeeded in leading me directly to it. She could even and use buy uh, location. Nah, I'm not gonna use that cheat code, because if we end up going for the other collectibles, we're gonna get enough money anyway. And all before lunchtime. What? Ah, my brilliant plan has struck you speechless, I see. I think the words you're searching for are Plankton, you're a genius. I don't well, like that clipping on Plankton's cheek. There's a secret formula out I don't there like it. It's weird. It. Mr. Krabs is the only name on that formula. Not when I get through with it. Watch your fingers. Oh, goody. Oh, and I've come so far. I won't let Mr. Krabs down now. SpongeBob's eyebrows look weird. A little. A wee bit. Oh my god. I don't remember this. Stay away from the tulips! <laughs> Not the tulips! Um, okay, there we go. I love that billboard for Mr. Krabs. It doesn't have any writing. It doesn't tell you where to go. It's just him in a Krabby Patty. <laughs> I'll knock you into 
Oh, Kelpo. Huh? I didn't I didn't see if there was a button I was supposed to press. That might have been my bad. Am I a fool? Oh, okay. I, I you, you just have to go fast. I get you. It's all the information we True. Everyone knows what the Krabby Patty is. Oh, I really hope this isn't just an enemy gauntlet. That'll be a little disappointing. Wasn't this same exact level in Creature from the Krusty Krab, though? Where it's like Patrick running across the rooftops? Put your hand up. Hands up! Not that hand, the other hand. Oh, preferably not that one either. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's over, SpongeBob. I deceived you. I outsmarted you. I won. And now I shall go to claim my prize, and there's nothing anybody. Could you speak up a bit? I can't hear you. I even have a billboard if everyone knows. Yeah. Don't call it that. Bonk, bang, boink. What is stopping me from just going up there and beating him with this? Nothing. Oh, I like that when you're spinning, he does little twinkle toes. <laughs> I never noticed that. Look, and that was just a picture of him in front of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is a master at advertising. He knows what you want. He doesn't have to tell you. What even ejects me from the head? Who knows? Maybe I just, just I needed some fresh air, that's all. I really hope in the Cosmic Shake. The final boss is this giant dramatic fight. And then you, you beat the final phase and it goes to like that post phase where you've already won and they just make you super overpowered for the fun of it. And this music starts playing. That's what I want. You got big the tomato. Yeah. Crust. Krabby Patties. I almost called them crusty burgers. <laughs> Krabby Patties have always had giant slabs of tomato. It's disgusting. Oh, is there another power up anywhere, or do I just do this normal? Boy, that takes a lot longer without the power-up. You love tomatoes? Ah, tomatoes are a 50-50 thing for me. I personally don't think I could eat tomato chunks. Well, not, I shouldn't say chunks. Oh, also the rain is kicking up, so let's hope the this doesn't affect the stream at all. Oh, wow, that is, that is heavy. Okay, that's a little scary. That was out of nowhere. <laughs> Good lord! Where did that come from? Grassy. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the Krusty Krab was a lobster trap.
Yeah, and then the chump. Yeah, and then the chump bucket's like a literal bucket of chump. Are you serious? I thought those buildings were connected. How was I supposed? There's no gap there. There's no way y'all can see the gap there. You don't believe that? No, it is. It is a lobster trap. That's what makes it so funny. Yeah, do y'all... Oh, okay. Look at that. I can't... Death perception. I hate death perception so much. It upsets me greatly. Oh, my power-up. I can't even read Plankton's advertisement. See this? No, look at the difference. Mr. Krabs, is, his is all colorful. It shows you everything you could want. Plankton's billboard is just him screaming at you. I don't want to eat there. How did he even afford a billboard? Oh, wait, wait. Oh! That was a close one. Stolen. <laughs> You can't steal a built custom made billboard. Unless you're just that good at stealing things. Oh, I forgot all about Chum as Fum. I was more I was more partial to Fum as Chum personally. Y'all remember when Mr. Krabs plagiarized that? Krabby Patties are fum. Uh, how did he get away with it? Oh my god, I forgot the kelp shakes too. Well, Plankton wasn't in charge of the kelp shakes. That was just someone else. Makes you want to eat chum, you do not want to eat chum. Unless it's fum chum. for the big celebration. Time is money. It was so horrible, Mr. Krabs. I was trapped inside Plankton's evil machine, and there was no bathroom in there. What are you talking about, lad? Well, Mr. Krabs, a funny story. I thought I lost the secret formula. Lost the secret formula? I told you to put it in the safe. This is a mutiny. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I said I thought I lost the secret formula. But I didn't. Who's ready? I did put it in the safe. Here it comes. Who's ready for the funny oh, twist? I, I put it. I was 100% sure. I. Oh, Mr. Krabs. I feel dizzy. I can't breathe. I can't feel my legs. Oh, wait. Here it is. SpongeBob, don't it's show it on screen. The whole time. Hey, that's me lottery ticket. Oops. I guess I never gave you the formula after all. <laughs> oh. Ah, it's in his back it pocket. Is. It was in my back pocket the whole time. <laughs> Your back pocket does all the love. Ten years of frustration. Ten long years of chasing after that formula. I almost had it that Ten. time, too. Oh, the anguish. The humiliation. Ah! Oh, yeah. Wait, was Truth or Square like a 10-year anniversary for Spongebob? That would make a lot of sense, actually. Although, I thought the first episode was 1998. I guess it was 1997, though. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense now. Also, yeah, there we go. 10 years shot. Yeah, a burger recipe he made, by the way. Come here, little jellyfish, and get in my... <laughs> Yeah, that was... It was fun. I feel like... Don't get me wrong. Stop Battle for Bikini so Bottom fast. is a good game. But 
I feel like way too many people only talk about Battle for Bikini Bottom, and they refuse to acknowledge the other ones. Have you seen my reading spectacles? Reading spectacles? Never mind. Because, like, I, I know a lot of speedrunners for Battle for Bikini Bottom, they just get mad when they're asked about the other games. People fuck, they hate these games. Most any class. Yeah, I won't lie, the final boss does suck in this game. This game released in 09. See, that's weird because the case says 07. I thought it was 09. And it was like advertised as a launch title for the Wii, but it, yeah, it was 09. I th I'm mad. Oh, voiceover talent. Doug. Lo I had no idea Mr. Lawrence's name was Doug. I've only ever known him as Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> Oh, look at that! He even wrote the script. Keep on the lookout for one slightly confused and very lost superhero. He might be wearing an earmuff over one eye. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I definitely think, like... You know what? I was gonna say it was my least favorite, which isn't a bad thing. I like all the 3D platformers. But I never played Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I've heard that one is straight up bad. So I guess this one's better than Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. But, you know, I would probably rather play this one over Creature from the Krusty Krab, but I think Creature from the Krusty Krab wins off of sheer originality alone. That game's weird. That game is so interesting. Especially the final level, it's just so odd. So it, it, it wins in that regard. and. Do I still have the picture up? I don't. Some of the art styles they do for those levels are really cool. But yeah, I still had fun with it. Uh, I'm debating if I want to go for the extra stuff. Here, we're gonna go ahead and skip the rest of these. Because if, as y'all may have noticed, I could only get one of the collectibles each level, and I wasn't allowed to get the others for whatever reason. How long does... 12 hours, right? Yeah, it was 12 hours. But, uh... What was I saying? Right, so every level has three major collectibles, but you're not allowed to get the other two until after you beat them. Yeah, the Tiki Challenges. So I'm debating if I want to go for those. Although I do think I do want to swap games now, because I did want to play two things today. And maybe we could do the Tiki Challenges another time. 12 hours. Haven't missed... Haven't missed once. You gotta have to try better than that. Yeah, you know, like if I go to the book. Yeah, you can see I I'm missing a bunch of stuff still. Do they get Mermaid Man for this game? Yeah. Well, I think for ba Battle for Bikini Bottom, I think it was scheduling issues. Because I think he was... Oh, what was his name? Ernest... Borgstein? Was that his name? Ernie Borgstein? Something like that. That's, uh... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was scheduling issues with him. But Mr. Krabs, he straight up just didn't want to do it. I don't think. <laughs> right, let's buy a funny outfit for Mr. Krabs. There. But we can all be ready for the panty raid now. Gary has one too, does he? Oh my god, he does. Actually, no, I think that's like a... Oh yeah, no, maybe it is. Here's a seahorse when you need one. Heroic suffering, Terraria, suffering, or Batman. Batman sounds pretty good in this situation. Check again. Check again. Who is this you know what, I, I want to do one extra you. level. Ooh. Oh, more multipliers. Oh, am I going to hit 100? Uh, if it'll allow me to jump. Ah, never mind, I got 100 anyway. Oh god, there it is. The ringer. Ew. Why would I upgrade this? It's already perfect. This is kind of 
No, don't don't put me in the ringer. I don't want to go into the ringer. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do is we're going to replay the first level, and I'm just going to see what the Tiki challenges are like. Just because I don't think I ever did them as a kid. Naughty Carps get put into the ringer. No, I don't want to go in the ringer. What's an experienced employee of the month? Always keeping their hat. A lead brick. Because that's what Squidward tried to stomp his hat. <laughs> uh... Oh, because Fennec, you were asking. Uh... CFTKK? That's Creature from the Krusty Krab, which is what we were talking about earlier. So can I still do all my moves? Oh, thank God. I hate it in games, where if you go back to earlier levels, you can't use moves you get in the future. It pisses me off so much. Open Season on the GameCube did that, and it made child me angry. So yeah, I'm just gonna see what the Tiki challenges are like, and we'll debate on if we want to do them all or not. Actually, I'm wondering, what do the multipliers even do? Because I have a times 99 multiplier, and I don't think it changes anything. Tiki challenges are usually fighting things or destroying destroyables. Okay. Unless you mean the multiplier. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just wish I knew what it did. I assume you get more happiness nuggets, but eh, who knows? But yeah, overall, I think it's still a fun game. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I could sit here and nitpick about how, like, Oh, the level design is basic. You know, there's not a lot to get. The collectibles are kind of pointless. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's not a great game. But that doesn't mean it can't be fun. It's still enjoyable. I'd rather play it than a lot of other things. Also, it's hailing outside, so I hope that's not <laughs> coming through on the microphone. The boxes take you to the TV challenge. Ah! Gotcha. Did I pass one already, or were you just telling me that for the future? I bet I can make this. Yeah! Aw. I passed one already? Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> Why did I read that? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't read that one out loud. Jesus. You hear no hail? Okay, okay. Right at the beginning. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, yeah, the hail is so loud, I'm sure. It's so loud that it doesn't even show up on the volume mixer. It loops back around. Oh, yeah, it is right here, isn't it? Whoops. I guess I watched right past it. And then we already found the sleeping Patrick in this level, so that's not something we have to worry about either. Yeah, so I ro oh, thank you, camera. How kind. If you want a prize, you have to destroy 20 of the plankton tiki's in 30 seconds. Are you sponge enough to do it? I'd like to think so. No, no, it's fine. No one's breaking into my house. I would know. Yeah. 
cracks me up so much when the music just loops. I swear to God, if I fall because of this. Okay. And a bit. All right, Jules. Yeah, I hope you have a good night. If you want to help me with my microphone in the future, you can. I'll try and make some more tweaks to it tonight. Baby jellyfish. Wait, so how do I... All right, so we have to find a bathtub and come back for this, I guess. I have no idea where we're going to find a bathtub, though. Or if we can even really come back here with it. Yeah, so this is where the Sleeping Patrick was last time. <laughs> what would y'all even do if you were here? You would just play Skylanders. That's all you would do. It would be nice to have someone to play with, though. Wait, we gotta go back. We can't go back, can we? Well, unfortunate. I guess I can't get all the concept art. Yeah, I don't know if we'll go for all the tiki challenges. I gotta think more on it. Where was this one? Okay, it was all the way up there. Dude, nah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Don't think about it. <laughs> Alright. We do have to pick out what we're gonna do next, though, today. Because we do have quite a few options. Although I will say, despite the title, I think we're not gonna do Skylanders today. But Minecraft. Maybe another day. If we do Minecraft one day, hmm. I don't know what I would want to do. But yeah, we have we have quite a few options. So don't you worry about that. We'll go over it all when we're finished. Brainwashing me in a terraria. Oh god, I'm not ready. I am not. Ooh, excuse me. I am not ready. The, oh, I did. Whoops. I literally saw it, and I still walked past it. Test your aim. Destroy ten Flying Dutchman Tiki's. Yeah, I don't understand why I couldn't just do these when we first played the levels. That's my aim. Oh, wait, does it want me to... Oh, okay. I see. I thought it actually wanted me to shoot them. Okay, I think it wanted me to shoot them. Maybe. Well, too bad, we're doing it like this. There we go, now we got a little pattern going. No one can tell me how to play the game. No, I, I understand, Goatman. I, I'm not worried about that right now. Bubble wand. All right, so if I just leave, do I get to keep that stuff? I just wanted to see what the Tiki challenges were about before we stop and change games. What does SpongeBob win if he wins Neptune's challenge? He gets to be Neptune's fry cook. There's a typo there. It's his fry cook specifically. People who made this game are fake fans. Oh, 
That whole scene is Fennec whenever we do predictions. Put it all on Neptune. <laughs> May as well get a move on. All right. Uh, let's try and get one more little upgrade. Where the jellyfish roll? Oh, slow down, Zippy. You might blow a tire. Find the formula faster. Oh my God, they all won't stop. I think they're overrated. 2k points to waste on predictions. I don't know what we're gonna do for predictions. Elden Ring would probably have a few. Am I soft locked? Oh my god, that was highly unnecessary. Oh, concept art. Oh, it's a movie for concept art. Was this made with Windows Movie Maker? <laughs> What is this? These aren't even like gameplay concept. This is just screenshots from the show. <laughs> That's a good one. These are like all the stills when they zoom in on a ca Okay, we'll accept that one. <laughs> the orb of confusion. What was the point of that? Picture was clipping through the frame. Yeah, a little. This Joker. I can't see too good. We don't need any cookies, little girl. Now shove on. Oh, what's his new bowl look like? Oh, okay. It was just five hundred dollars to feed my pet. That's all. <laughs> oh my God, Gary's like his stalks are poking through his eyeballs. That's so weird. Oh, really? I am the sponge. Really? In your bed? That's your bed, man! Maybe if I stand here long enough, the formula will find me. Alright. Well, Truth or Square was fun. Oh, baby jellyfish. But we are going to go ahead and swap things. Swap games. I don't know... If we're going to come back to this, I'm pretty satisfied with it. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. If I get the urge in the recent future, we probably will. Or the, or the distant future. But yeah. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed Truth or Square. And we're going to swap over to something else.